Hi, I'm David. I own and operate Country Whatnot Gardens here outside of Rochester, Indiana, which is an hour south of the Michigan State Line. I grow 25 different species and varieties of bamboo, and things are starting to wake up here in early March, and that's too soon. Let's take a look at some things. The bamboo is not one of those things waking up yet, but if we come over here to a lilac, Syringa reticulata, we can see that these green buds are swelling and starting to open up already and it is too soon because we risk um, them leafing out too soon and then being and then being froze off there you can see how they're starting to open out but a number of things here in the garden are starting to do that and it's concerning because um, if they open out too soon when we're not done having cold weather yet, it, it's normal for us to get snow up into April. Uh, we risk things being damaged uh, by a late freeze. Our late, our our last freeze, typically I've noticed over the past several years, uh, comes on May the eighth or right around there, to within just a couple days off, it seems within a couple days every year it seems. Right here is Hamilton spindle tree, Euonymus hamiltonianus sibboldianus. And you can see that it is really leafing out a lot. And this is this is way too soon, much much too soon. And um, let's see what else did I notice out here? Oh, the tree peonies. The tree peonies already are starting to are starting to uh, bud out. This is a tree peony. Uh, this is a pink variety called Hanakisoi. And you can see all the new red uh, shoots and buds starting to, starting to open here. And this is way too soon, way, way too soon. Because um, this is just early March. This is, they're way ahead of schedule by, I would say, at least a month. This this is not good. We had uh, last week or week before, I forget which it was, some days where it was in the low seventies in the last part of in the last part of February, I think it was, just a couple weeks ago. It was crazy. Um, I believe our all time high record they said was um, 76, and I think we got up to 72 or better on that particular date. Uh, so it's it's not good. Although the warm weather is nice, you know, after being through winter and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It feels nice to be outside, but it's just, um, it's too warm too soon for the plants, and it's not good. Here is a U, uh, Taxus. You can see the buds, the new little buds there are starting to to swell and and open out, let's see, right there, just a little, just a little bit. You can tell I've been gardening. Here's my dirty, <laughs> my dirty fingers. But um, that's starting to open. Oh, I remember what else was opening. Let's see. Okay. These are ornamental uh, apricots because in the, um, let's see, these are Prunus mansurica because I can't grow Prunus uh, mume, mume here. Uh, look, our apricots are early anyway, always early. That's, you know, why they're one of the th three friends of winter. Uh, bamboo, pine, plum slash apricot in, in Japanese gardens. But this is early even for apricots. And also, let's see, where's an example? Also, the flowering quince, the kinamales, are starting to, to bud out here. You see all the flower buds up and down this stem. This is a variety called Oyashima. It's a double white. It's budding out already. And these signs of uh, too early of a spring are all over the place, unfortunately. If I come down here to this Yoshino cherry, Right here, if I can reach a limb, I've got it headed up pretty high here. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, there I got some. Uh, let's see this. 
there if I can show it against the against the bright I would say bright to the sky but compared to what my camera can focus on and deal with for its contrast it's bright but it's really cloudy and overcast today um, you can see some buds swelling there on that uh, I got a Yoshino around here somewhere that was open quite a bit more than that and it was very concerning here right there there's a, this this Yoshino you can see how those green buds are coming out there already it's way too soon and the way that this pertains to bamboo although it's not shooting yet of course uh, is that it can it can shoot uh, early because all of these precursors on all these other earlier plants are leading up to bamboo shooting because uh, the bamboo shoots um, after all these after all these other things happen on these other plants. This is a weeping cherry, Prunus subhertelependula. You can see the buds are already coming out on it. This is early March. This is this is far far too far far too soon on this. But anyway, as it pertains to bamboo, let's see. If it shoots too soon, yeah, it can get it can get frozen. This is an Oshima cherry. I've just bent down the a limb on it, a little branch on it to show here. If I could get this again to focus, there we go. You can see they're swelling, but they're not yet showing green between those uh, bud scales there. But um, it's it's too soon, too too soon. And that's what we ran off into with um, last year was that Phyllostachys nuda up here. Its first round of shoots were froze off because it was too warm too soon, and then we had a later freeze. Nuda right there, and, and it stunned it. You can see how it stunned it, because the second round of shoots that come up, you know, were already depleted of energy from the first round of shooting, and um, didn't get as tall as the pre previous year's growth. And it had already been top-killed by severe winds, a uh, winter before this, and it had multiple things stacked against it and i stood all the bamboo out here but nuda for some reason in particular took it quite hard harder even than some of the others but this is um and, and it's usually not that way usually nuda is the tough one this is uh five leaf akibia or five leaf chocolate vine akibia quinata you can see green buds here starting on it as as well you can see the spirea this is a uh, improved form that's supposed to be more resistant to, um, I believe it's mildew, powdery mildew. This variety is called Renaissance. Right there, and it's it's leafing out too soon. But um, all these are precursors, all these signs are precursors to uh, what could potentially be an early bamboo shooting season. And again, you don't want that. Because it's just inviting um, your first round of shoots that are taking the most energy from your groves and would grow up to be the largest to get froze off and then be replaced by stunted um, shoots after the first ones are froze off. This is a Japanese maple variety, a lace leaf one. Uh, the variety is Inabashidai. And I don't know if this is going to pick up because. They are, the buds are just starting to crack right there. You can see some red showing through those bud scales right there. Um, and again, not, not a good thing. All this warm weather. Wow, look, the sun came out. There's one that's showing red and it's, it's cracking through the bud scale right there. Not good at all. But um, it is just too, too, too soon in the year because we've still got April and half of May and the rest of let's see the rest of March all of April and half of May to get through before it could be considered safe for things to be uh, leafing out but you know what can you do I mean if your if your bamboo starts shooting too soon well what can you do you get a, a, a frost uh, you it's not like you can cover an entire grove, right? 
I mean, yeah, that's not really, really possible. If you have a small plant, a new plant that's been set in, then of course you could, could cover it. You could cover any shoots that come out along the perimeter, but if shoots inside the interior of the grove, you can't cover all that. And really a cover is only going to protect it from so much from a frost. It's not really going to do much for a hard freeze. There's not really much you can do except to just hope for the best. And it has me concerned, <laughs> frankly, um, because while I do like warm weather a lot, I don't like it when it comes at the sacrifice of waking everything up too early, only to be froze off, stunted, injured. It's not good. But we will keep an eye on this, and hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully things turn out for the best, I would like to think. Um, it is cooler today. It's supposed to be cooler tomorrow, so that will help uh, restrain this uh, active bud growth a little bit before they open up and get um, too opened out for, for uh, cold weather. Some things kind of already are, especially the spindle trees, that the um, Euonymus hamiltonianus sibolianus down the way. Um, they're kind of opened out, leafed out pretty far if we get too far below freezing. They'll take a little bit, but not not a lot. But um, anyway, I will continue to keep this uh, uh, in the updates <laughs> as to how this turns out. And hopefully, we'll, we'll hope for the best. Hopefully, it goes okay. But until next time, um, please take care. And if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you for stopping by. Bye.